from Force 13 HQ, this is April 21st, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Good morning, Friday, April 21st, and we have Tropical Storm Arlene active in the Atlantic. We're issuing updates on that in separate videos. We've also got two systems in the Western Pacific, what's left of Tropical Depression 2W, looking rather depressing as a matter of fact, and a new Invest 93W, which has formed in the Western Pacific, south of the Chuk Islands of Micronesia. So we have three systems. We're going to be focusing on 93W in our feature, 25 miles per hour and 1,007 millibars, 4. 7 degrees north, 150.3 degrees east. No warnings in effect, of course, um, and this system is a new invest that's formed in an otherwise inactive Western Pacific, apart from the other system, 2W, which is pretty much off the radar, turning post tropical long gone. Um, but this system could uh, cause some rainfall for Micronesia and is expected to move towards the northwest, not expected to develop, but could um, get a little bit of development um, under its belt as it moves through the Micronesia islands. Um, and possibly getting as far as Palau, maybe delivering some rainfall. Elsewhere though, uh, here's the Atlantic Ocean. Arlene is up there, just off the scope of the screen. Uh, the extratropical storm that it is circling, circling around right now, interacting with, is just about visible there though. Uh, some thunderstorms going on in the Western Caribbean as well. The Eastern Pacific is dead quiet. Look at all that clear area. Uh, to the west of the Baja California Peninsula and the Mexican coastline um, and that frontal system extending from Hawaii way up towards the north. Um, not too much going on in the deep tropics. The West Pacific, you can see 2W there, um, a plume of thunderstorm activity um, resulting from that, but it's really not a tropical system anymore. And 93W so far south that it can barely make it onto our screen there as well. Here's the Australia and South Pacific region, hardly anything going on here, there's a little jet of thunderstorm activity there going on just south of Papua New Guinea, uh, but very little going on there. The Indian Ocean, there's a few thunderstorms occurring south of the equator, uh, but very little in the way of tropical development is expected here anytime soon. So overall, around the world, it's pretty quiet, apart from the place you'd least expect it. Sea surface temperatures are pretty warm, but you can see not quite as warm as it could be in the tropical uh, eastern and central Pacific. It's a little bit of a cool anomaly. The Atlantic, well, sea surface temperatures don't seem to matter there. Arlene, over 18 Celsius water. We'll be looking out for the Medicanes next. The Indian Ocean at 30 degrees in the western half of the Indian Ocean, north and south of the equator. So perhaps watching that space, but it is uh, very, um, very averse to activity. You don't really see it very often. Where we invest 93W is, sea surface temperatures are pretty warm. Uh, um, but really, the most we could possibly hope for from this system is a weak tropical depression, I should imagine. But who knows? Maybe it will baffle us all again, as Arlene did not so long ago. Uh, but uh, all signs are um, saying that all bets are off for 93W developing. But of course, we'll keep tabs on it, and it could deliver copious amounts of rainfall to the Micronesian Islands. Some thunderstorms of related to the system passing pretty close to Chuck there, the small little islands outlined in pink. Off towards the right hand side there is Pompeii as well. And here are the remnants of 2W. Hardly discernible. I don't think it's got a centre of circulation. Uh, but it's somehow made it to the east of Taiwan and it's now heading off towards the northeast. Uh, possibly giving the um, Ryukyu Islands of Japan a little bit of adverse weather and could become a frontal system or aid an extra tropical cyclone off towards the northeast near Japan. Uh, but certainly nothing tropical occurring in a very high wind shear environment in this part of the West Pacific. Uh, but there are the latest pictures on 2W. And the one you've been waiting for, Tropical Storm Arlene. We're doing updates on this um, elsewhere on the channel. Stay tuned for more. That's why we're not covering this system as the active feature on this video. We tend to cover the Invest more in the Tropical Weather Bulletins, but there it is, uh, sweeping off towards the northwest. Looks like it's seen its best moment, and uh, it now looks like it's to, on, a, on a slow extratropical transition. You can see that on this imagery in particular to the southwest of it, the interacting extratropical cyclone, which is also competing with uh, but at one point it did look pretty good and we called it 50 mile an hour uh, tropical cyclone um, and could possibly get to 60 miles an hour before turning post tropical 
So, numbers for 2017. If you've not been following recently, you'll be pleased to know we're up to nine tropical storms, two Category 1 hurricane equivalents, one of each other category thereafter. Uh, so, certainly one for variety this year so far in 2017, though the numbers have been a little bit on the low side. Uh, they're the averages for the full year at the top. And compared with the other years so far, we're up to 16 so far for 2017. Just about past halfway before we get to 1900, which is 117th on the 117-year record that we have compiled. So, Arlene is the first storm name of the Atlantic. And it's a tropical storm, rightfully so. A little bit contentious as to whether it was subtropical or tropical, but certainly nameable. Um, and that is the kickoff for the Atlantic hurricane season. We've also got Marutha that happened in the North Indian Ocean last week. Um, and we're still yet to see the first name in the Western Pacific. It's going to be Muifa. And following that, um, more of the next name in the North Indian Ocean, of course. Adrian, the first name in the Eastern Pacific, Wallaka coming up next in the Central. If Australia gets another storm, it's going to be Francis, and in the Southwest Indian Ocean, it will be Gabakil, and in Fiji, it will be Donna, which will certainly remind certain people in the Atlantic about a storm that occurred many years ago indeed. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, you're probably there already. Search Force 13, all in text if not, and subscribe also if you haven't, it'd be very nice if you did. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text, at Force 13 is the handle on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, F00013, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.